continuing chatting to the good and the great of reInvent 2023 here on the Expo Hall in the Venetian. I'm super happy to be joined by Carl Kalm. Uh, Carl, you're a product manager for Application Composer. You just had a cool big release. Tell us about it. Yeah, so big announcement. Application Composer is now embedded into the AWS toolkit. For Visual Studio Code. Fantastic. So where you're already building your code, now Application Composer is just embedded right there available at Persist. Okay. And for people who don't know Application Composer, it's uh, something that's in the console, now it's in your IDE. How can it help? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Application Composer is a visual builder for your cloud formation applications. It can help you build entirely new, uh, cloud, uh, sorry, entirely new applications on cloud formation or take your existing cloud formation, uh, formation applications and help you edit it. Um, now, instead of going to the, the console and having that as the, as the only option, you can now also load up this application within VS Code directly, where you're probably already working on your cloud formation app-based applications. Okay. And uh, previously, when an application came out, it was sort of just for building serverless applications. And now you support all CloudFormation resources. So it's literally any application you can build on AWS. That's right. We've actually had a really busy year. Not only have we done the, the Visual Studio Code integration, um, we've also launched the Anything project, which is what we call it internally. Okay. We now support absolutely all CloudFormation resources, not just the initial serverless ones. We've also launched integrations with external VPCs and external RDS servers, or external clusters. Uh, so now you, if you have a team that is managing VPCs and RDS uh, databases, you can now add that to your application and reference those external configurations. Ah, so it doesn't have to be this huge, massive cloud formation template with everything in. You can exactly. have these sort of composable building blocks. Exactly. Yeah. Specifically for something like VPCs, where you've got a, a you know separate network team, as you mentioned, DBA is looking up the separate database thing. Yeah, they want they're going to be separate stacks, going to be separate cloud formation things, and you can just uh, yep, and we them together that that relationship. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're really excited about, of course, is not only are we in VPS code. Um, but we also have an integration with Code Whisperer now. Okay. So you can now open up a cloud formation resource that maybe you're not really familiar with, and you can have Code Whisperer suggest configuration right there in the ID, oh, wow. right there in App Composer, uh, helping you get that configuration. Okay. So, what kind of questions would you ask that um, that um, Code Campus would be able to help with? Yeah. So, for example, one of the things that you can do is you can drag in, say, a message queue a resource, yeah. and maybe you've never used message queue. Yeah. So, as you go in to start configuring it, you're not really sure what properties you want to use, okay. how you want to can figure out what that you know what best practice defaults you want to apply and so you can have code whisperer say i'm going to go generate some configuration for you for this resource based on what i know about how people tend to use it cool so one of the things i also like about application composer is i'm also a visual person as well so it's nice uh, you know build things in the in the console on the canvas and also with the visual studio code uh, but the important one and the important things is the sort of dragging things to connect together yeah. so you have you know, maybe it's a Lambda function polling from SQS and then sending it to DynamoDB, and you can just, you know, drag in that little thing, uh, create a connector, which is all your IAM permissions. And so you don't have to know, uh, you know, all the different IAM permissions and things. So uh, is that sort of a big use case? Is that oh, one huge. of the things that people are using? I Absolutely. Love that. It's, it's one, no, it's one of the best things about Application Composer. We hide the things that you don't have to know about to be successful. You can just drag a line between two resources. We take care of the event source mappings, the environment variable mappings, all of the references, all of the IAM permissions, the log groups necessary to, to be able to log things. Um, we take care of all the things you typically need to do in order to facilitate interactions between two resources. Now, we don't hide those details. Yeah. Like, you can get to them if you need to. So it's not about like it's not about keeping those details from yeah. you. It's about saying that you don't shouldn't have the need to, to know them in order to be successful. Yeah, and I love that. Even you talked about the event source mapping, just to be able to look through and to see uh, what is possible. Because, uh, yeah, you may not know that from the cloud formation, and yes, this will be in the console. But as you're now in your IDE, you can just explore all the different options available. Absolutely. So also tell us about one of the cool things about Application Composer is, you know, always best practices we talk about is, well, you know, you shouldn't really be building the console. You should really be building things with infrastructure as code. And so um, uh, yeah, previously, this was a complicated thing. How does App Composer now link to your local file system so you can use it as infrastructure as code? Yeah, absolutely. So when you're in the console and you're using Application Composer, you are linking it to your local file system. So it's working on the cloud formation templates that are on your local workstation. It's not in some you know, S3 bucket. It's, it's not for working on provisioned applications that you later have to port over to IAC. You're, you're starting from IAC. You're working on IAC. You never leave IAC. Um, what's great about that, though, is because it's working on local files, it works with the exact same tools and workflows that you have today that you're working on to deploy your cloud formation applications. We don't replace any of that. We complement it. We give you an extra tool to help you understand how to build this application, how to integrate it in with everything else you want to do. Uh, and then even more so now that it's in the IDE. Excellent. And I love yeah, just how you can uh, 
uh, start things in the console and just move to your IDE. Everything's over there through our CSAD pipelines. Brilliant. Absolutely. Carl, we appreciate you spending your time with us today. Congratulations yeah, on me. the launch today. And yeah, Carl Kalm, product manager for Application Proposal. Thank you.